The All-American Canal Lining Project started approximately six miles west of Yuma, Arizona. Approximately 21 million cubic yards of earth would be excavated, and more than two million square yards of four-inch thick concrete would be used in the lining of the 23-mile canal. Reach 1 started downstream of a mountain peak called Pilot Knob and ended at the first hydroelectric power station called Drop One. The actual process of lining the canal required heavy and complex machinery, but at some turns, construction crews employed a traditional building process pouring, paving, and finishing by hand. Another engineering marvel involved the tie-ins. In order to control the flow of water during construction of the canal, construction crews used sheet piles to divert the water to enable construction of the tie-ins. Those were the challenges. How do we tie this new concrete canal back to the old drop structures without uh, interrupting flow. And so there was some unique things done on sheet piling, uh, doing half the canal at one time and driving the sheet piling, cutting it off, dewatering it, putting in the concrete lining and then pulling the ends out, let water start flowing back through and flipping it back over and doing the other side. And that was a very uh, uh, interesting thing to watch and to see, but we were able to do it because we had one, I, we had six or seven of these uh, situations that we had to do this and uh, had some difficulties but we were able to work through those things and we were able to get it done and not interrupt the water flow. And Both man and machine were challenged by the same desert conditions. Heat, wind, sand. During the summer months, temperatures regularly hit triple digits. Construction work schedules were shifted to night when temperatures cooled. Chiller tanks provided cooled water for mixing concrete it was necessary to place the lining in the relative cool of the night when temperatures came down into the reasonable mid-80 degrees Fahrenheit. The All-American Canal Lining Project met the target date of water delivery without disruption of water to agriculture or residents. More than 100 years ago, Visionary leaders and builders brought water and prosperity to the Imperial Valley. The All-American Canal Lining Project continues their vision for generations to come.